Hey there, Snickersnacks. Welcome back to Vorpal Tales Presents Awesome Adventures. As always, I'm your host, from my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand, Space Lord Pajamas. Let's introduce our intrepid adventurers, JT, Jane, Harry, Steve, and Ever. How you doing, Awesome Sauces? Tell us who you are and what you'll be playing tonight. Hey folks, I'm JT, and I am playing Timothy, the 13-year-old computer hacker, who is uh, rapidly taking on Randy's aesthetics. Hello, I am Jane. Tonight I'll be playing Ich Ichiko Ichikawa, uh, an honorary member of the Hairsprays, I guess. The, the, also the popular kid. Uh, yes, hello, I'm Harry, and I will be playing... Uh, I will be playing... David, I was trying to remember if it was David or Daniel, because I got two DA names in Unpurple Tales. Uh, I'm playing David the Book Boy, um... Who is two ah! dots in physical stats, but sure can kick some balls. <laughs> yes, hot dog wizard. We need all the donations. <laughs> <laughs> we are in fact poor in the woods. Um, okay, <laughs> but um, um, I can't get over David the book boy. Um, I <laughs> <laughs> God, Randy wouldn't even roast David that hard. Okay, uh, hi everybody, I am Steve, you can find me on the internet at Voodoo Arcade, and tonight um, I am playing Randy the Troublemaker, who apparently has been having quite a bit of an influence over this uh, gang. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Hey everybody. I'm ever and my pronouns are they them. You can find me all over the internet as Changeling Ever. And tonight I shall be the indescribable, unbelievable, ultra chaotic bug. Awesome. So for those of you following along at home, tonight's awesome adventure is Free Leagues Publishing or Free Leagues Tales from the Loop, published by Modifius Entertainment. Our story's title is Porn in the Woods. This episode is brought to you by Large Marge's Donut Barn, where a dozen equals 14. Also, Whale's Whiskey, made in Finland, with real synthetic whales. Be a lantern. Light up your life with Whale's Whiskey. Additionally, Vorpal Tales has some great sponsors we'd love to tell you about. First is Q Empire. It's QUEmpire.com, a small company making original dice and products for your favorite RPGs and card games. Next is Hit Point, Hit Point Press known for their various reference cards, but also for creating Humblewood and Hecna campaign settings. Visit VorpalTales.com, click on the affiliate link, and anything you purchase, a portrait, portion of it will benefit the show. Finally is Jim Hammer & Sons, an RPG supplement store that was that has everything from the Deck of Wonders to the Deck of Illusions to dice. Check the affiliate section of our website, click the link, and use the discount code VorpalTales, all one word, for 10% off. Thanks to Modifius Entertainment and the Free League for publishing some really awesome systems that allow for fantastic adventures. As always, we're using Astral Tabletop, the delicious awesome sauce of online gaming tools, allowing friends to digitally roll some bones together. Thank you to N8Mid for, again, making some really awesome uh, character sheets that make playing this game online so much easier. Slide into our DMs about how to get access to these really awesome sheets for Astral Tabletop. Thank you to Love Your Rebellion, a nonprofit group that empowers marginalized groups through the arts. Please be sure to check out a, check out their website, loveyourrebellion.org, for info on their Patreon, zine, and upcoming events. <clears throat> you can always find us role playing, live tweeting, updating, and recapping on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube at Vorpal Tales. Shout out and thank you to our most importantly, subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash Tales. Shout out and thank you to our current top Patreons, um, Funky Thunder, Don Arnetto, and brand new Hex and Curse. Thank you. We appreciate all your love and support, and that's patreon.com slash <clears throat> And that's my heart to you. Heart. Right? Good stuff. And with the introduction out of the way, we can get to why everyone's truly here. Coke or Pepsi? Oh, Coke. Neither. Coke? Neither? Why neither? Diet, Diet Coke. I mean, that's still Coke. Well, I don't no, drink it regularly. No. Excuse me. Oh my 
Okay. Coke is not. <laughs> I'm gonna be that person because I hate Coke. Okay. Love me some Diet Coke. <sighs> okay. I mean, does it, so does that does that divert? Is it is it Coke Diet Coke versus Pepsi or versus like how does Steve that work? Steve is laughing, Steve. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's Diet Coke, and then it's Diet Pepsi, and then it's Diet Root Beer, and then it's Diet something else, and then it's Diet something else. And I do not like regular soda because it leaves a nasty aftertaste in your mouth. And the aspartame doesn't? The yeah, aspartame leaves a horrible aftertaste. Yeah. I am a smoker, so I don't taste that. Oh, because well, quits, yeah, I've okay, quit that. smoking before, and Diet Coke is absolutely disgusting. Soda in general is absolutely disgusting when you're not a smoker, in, in my experience. But as I'm currently a smoker, uh, the uh, Diet Coke doesn't leave that taste in my mouth. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> You're right, Steve. Note to Ever. self, if I need to enjoy Diet Coke, take I up know, smoking. Right? Ever not. Coke. You heard it here, kids don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ever, you're not down for Coke or Pepsi? No, too much sugar, have hyperglycemia, and then uh -huh. also I'm allergic to the fake sugars that are in the diet sodas. I will get vertigo and very, very sick, so it's always fun for me. Oh, wow. So uh, I drink, like, fizzy water instead. <laughs> cool. Well, you know, I'm sorry to say you're all wrong, because um, it's RC <laughs> Cola, which is the king of cola. But you didn't even mention that as an option. Sean. I know, it's a trick question. Sean. What? It's all Coke. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Texas? Okay, you since Steve said it. Story. So uh -oh. I was at the grocery mart one day, and I don't go to that grocery mart anymore because I'm cheap and Aldi for life. But anyway, um, so this woman, if you go to Publix, they have like random specials where it's like you can get 4,000 cases of Coke for like a dollar or whatever it is. <laughs> So um, this woman in front of me uh, pulls up or she was in line before me and then she's her, her cart's just loaded with fucking all kinds of sodas, all different individual ones. So, I mean, she's got a she's got a shit ton of Coke or just a shit ton of different types of soda cases. So she just puts one up on the thing. And so the person's like, I need you to put them all up on there. And she's just like, it's all Coke. And it's like, no, no, no. And so I kind of jumped in and was like, no, like there's you individual UPC codes. They got to like figure out what they're selling and what to stock. And so you need to put it all up there. And then she just kind of turns to me, just like, I, I, I don't remember like when she said it's all Coke or whatever, but like that was the culmination no, of it was she, just. She turned to you when you explained what a UPC oh, code yeah, was. Oh yeah, that's right. And just went, it's all, all Coke. Coke. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay, yeah, sure, we'll take over. Let's just go. <laughs> like, it was just one of those moments of like, what? Who the fuck are you? What kind of <laughs> asshole are you? Like, uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, RC Cola. My grandfather once had a friend who went on one of those commercials back in the day where they mm -hmm. would have them wine taste test Coke versus Pepsi and say which they liked more. And his didn't make it to air because when given a sip, they were like, which one is Coke and which one's Pepsi? This one's Coke. Why do you say that? Because it tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you're asking for a genuine soda opinion, he likes root beer. I'm a ginger ale person. I also but, like Coke. But Calapico's also really Calapico's good. her fave. Yeah. What, what is that? Calapico is Japanese yogurt soda. Is good. It's uh, very good. Oh. oh. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Funny story. Like when I was in that sixth grade, I did it that my science project was doing a taste test and I did Coke, Pepsi and RC Cola in like by like 80% everybody liked RC Cola better than the other two. So it was kind of funny. Everyone's like, what? No, I thought that was Coke. That was my favorite. Yeah. And while we're on this topic, I must step in and say that as a Michigander, Michigandian, a person mm -hmm. from Michigan, it's pop, not soda, not Coke. Shut the mm. fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out with your stupid ass pop. No. So, no. I'm We've sorry, everyone. The dragon in the game. It, it's no. been great to have JT on. Um, it, it's been great. Uh, Steve. I really want to turn my camera off, but that'll fuck up the <laughs> Please right? do not the turn off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, uh. I, I would like to suggest a soda. If you've uh -huh. never tried it in your life, you need to try it at least once. I absolutely hated it, but you might not. When I went to Peru with my stepmom, because she's from Peru, I tried something called Inca Cola, and it is highlighter yellow, and it tastes like bubblegum. Mm -hmm. But I nice. hate it. Uh, another good one is Japanese melon soda. They also <gasps> have a Japanese custard soda. Ramane? Yeah, ramane is so good. And apparently that's like a thing that they've had forever. Hmm. Soda talk here at Vocal Tales. Yeah, soda talk. You, you heard it here first. I, uh, <laughs> I never went back and got my <clears throat> nostalgia edition version of Surge. Aw, oh, Surge. <laughs> so delicious. Anyway. Oh, <clears throat> and uh, no, sorry. Last thing about soda and we will get on with the game. I'm sorry, everybody. But I have uh -huh. to. From, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting word mentally from kimchi. Mm -hmm. Don't drink pickle soda. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that, mm, okay. Yeah. Good tip. Good tip. Good tip. All right. So tonight we continue the penultimate episode of our awesome adventure with Free League's Tales from the Loop, published by Mojefius Entertainment. <clears throat> Months into the school year, too many attempts of lunch money and too many random humiliations have come to a head. Bullying has gone gorilla. Forrest came out of nowhere. The Stooges were quick with the tetherball. David lays on the ground, blood seeping him from his busted lip. Randy is tied to the monkey bars with jump ropes. Michiko, Bug, and Timothy are all wrapped up to tetherball poles. At the edge of the schoolyard, Forrest can be heard laughing, high-fiving his stooges. The last thing you can hear as they ride off is, So long, you fucking losers! <clears throat> they ride off into the afternoon with David's brand new bike. This will not stand. Kids, no, what do you do? Not. Remember votes from last week? They provide you an extra luck for your kid. <clears throat> I mean, we have been getting into a lot of difficulties with them, so it's only fitting that they'd want to do things. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, the Offenets were talking about them recently. Apparently they have a new hangout, and one of them got to go. I, I feel like... For directions. Could, could... Can someone Would untie me, please? This tied to a tetherball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't notice that. I will yeah. untie Michiko Still first, perfect. and then I'll untie Randy. I didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear no, that. No, no, tied no, to a tetherball. I, I feel like it would just be perfect. She would just be there, like, so yeah. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. I mean, Michiko is literally like the dog from the This Is Fine comic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ugg so... Ugg is trying uh, to gnaw out of the ropes. Um, Ugg, don't do that. You'll hurt your teeth. Timothy's going to start humming, hoping that uh, Gertie Jr. comes to the rescue somehow. Mm. Uh, it, I mean, it's stuck on a wing. Or is, Do you still keep it on your key ring, or do you, is it, like, free now, and it, it like, flo floats around? Oh, I, I definitely let it free. It, like, just okay. runs around it, but it definitely it has an affinity towards me, so it sticks so, around. Gertie Jr. sits on the tetherball rope and then just kind of looks at you like I'm a fucking mechanical bee. What do you want me to do? I will untie them. He's just hoping. <laughs> so David unties all of you. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, uh, Michiko's right. They do have a new hideout and um, you, she might be able to figure out where they went. Oh, oh, I also got this I forgot, were there cell phones in the 80s or were those in the 90s? Because I want, okay, okay, I know in Saved by the Bell they had cell phones and they were just fucking bricks. Yeah, they were this fucking bad. They were bricks. <laughs> they didn't have they cell were... phones, they had cellular telephones. Okay, um, <laughs> so let's see. And you could get a car phone if you were driving a fucking Maybach. <laughs> Where would the Aquanets be right now? Um, okay, so... There is one correct answer to this question. <sighs> mm -hmm. The mall. I've... The mall. 
Um, they got no, 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 no. no. They go, they go to the mall on Mondays. The oh. mall is for Mondays. Uh, the hair salons on Tuesdays. Study is on Wednesday. And then, um, let's see. They they mentioned other things that they do, but I I won't go off on all their full schedules that I have not mind. What day of the week was it? Uh, what day of the week is it? You tell me. Ooh, I have a dice for this. I have a die. Okay. I have a die. Oh my gosh, the fact you have that a day dead. of the week die. I do. You have a D seven. It does. I've seen it. It's shaped so weird. Saturday. Fuck is that shape? It's not. It's an amorphous blob. Day of the it, week dice. Okay, day of the week dice. Uh, okay, what day of the ah, week it is? We can't have it be a weekend, though. So. Yeah, it has to be a weekday. So the closest weekday. It is Friday. It is Friday. All right, okay, it is Friday. Um, is it the, oh, is it the arcade or is it the diner that they go to on Friday? I... Oh, no, it's the leader's house that they go to on Friday. Oh. We need to go feed the Triceratops. <laughs> There's that too. <laughs> Siri here. Let me know if I can... fuck off, Siri. Siri here. <laughs> Siri. Apparently, um, apparently, our uh, the robot has a built-in uh, personal assistant function. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> um, um. Okay. Uh, you guys can go to the dinosaur. I can't believe you still have, and I can go ask the opening. Tony is right. Friday would totally be movie night. Go down to the local rental. Uh, store, rent oh. a couple of movies. Randy, do you want to come with me? Well, do the do where the do where the Aquanets are, like hanging out, yeah. like at home, like in their pajamas, and like watching movies and like talking. Yes, that 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 means. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. Is this more of the romance stuff that the Aquanet keeps talking about? And the keeping up appearances thing? I mean, you know, it's cool. I, I could, you know. So, the plan for feeding the Triceratops. <laughs> yes, what is that? So, the plan is, cause baby Triceratops, they grow quickly and they grow real big real fast. So, what I'm doing here... I've read my books on Triceratops. I did a little research in between sessions for this. Did now, let you? me tell you, what we need to do, we need a fuck ton of green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm going to ask them, I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on any of like the lettuce that started to wilt, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. Cause they do toss that out, right? Yeah. And it right. doesn't sell. So like I'm the day old gonna, lettuce. Yeah, the day old lettuce, the day old vegetables. And I am just going to take all of it. Just okay, so wheel, <laughs> just I'm gonna get a wheelbarrow. Okay. From the hideout, I'm gonna wheel it over behind the supermarket. <laughs> Be like, hey, can I have your old lettuce? And they'll say, no, kid, fuck off. And then I'll take it from the dumpster. The the Triceratops also eats what food? Cat food. Yeah, it it has been kind of particular to cat food as well. Um, so, is it David, Bug, and Timothy that's going to go feed the Triceratops? Always feed it twice out of tops. Timothy, what uh what which which path are you taking? Uh I'm definitely in for the triceratops. Okay, cool. So Michiko and Randy head off to the uh the upper part of town where the uh Aquanets are. And David and Timothy and Bug are at the back of a grocery store banging on the um that back door and just somebody opens it and they're like what do you what do you kid what do you kids do? What do you want? Why are you banging on the door? We need your day old produce that you're gonna throw out. We're oh, we're, we're doing an experiment in composting. What the what the fuck is composting? Composting is when you put bodies underneath vegetables and see how fast they decay. No, that's not composting. Bodies? What? No, I mean, technically. No, no. <laughs> uh Wait, what, what the hell are you kids talking about? We're doing a science project for school, and it would really help if you could, like, donate some of your stuff for the, our school project. Yeah, hey, Al, there's the three stupid kids over here. They say they want the day-olds. Yeah, whatever, man. Just, just throw it in the dumpster. They'll fish it out, some shit, whatever. So they just 
pick bag up some day old lettuce and they just they toss it in the dump they just ignore you and toss it in the dumpster and like hey go fish it out you know legally we can't hand it off to you but if you fish it out of the dumpster then you know that's also illegal but i ain't got time anyway yeah closes the door okay <clears throat> immediately goes and dives into the dumpster yeah just, bugs just in there bugs passing tossing out the stuff i'm running around like a like that old game and watch game where the firefighters have the trampoline except with a wheelbarrow catching lettuce nice <clears throat> timothy what are you doing I'm on the lookout for cops. Oh, yeah. Fuck those cops. Okay, cool. Um, so you you three managed to easily procure some lettuce and wheel it back to the um, the hideout. Uh, and, yeah, you're feeding the Triceratops. Uh, bugs still insist on feeding it a thing of cat food every night as, like, a special treat, which it's just kind of like nom, 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 whatever. Uh, so that is... Uh, <laughs> That is that. And so Michiko and Randy head off to the richer part of town where there's the big houses up on the hills. There's actually no hills in Florida. It's just higher flatland. Um, so you get up there and there's just like this big old white house with like columns and just big wide windows with drapes and everything and there's it's one of those cool driveways that like circles around in front and then they have an extra one that goes to the garage and back it's just a really big house um randy and michiko you approach how michiko will just like roller skate on up since she's technically been to one of these sleepovers before yes once and uh it was very enlightening um Randy, yeah, what you doing? So, uh, so do I just like just like walk in? I'm like, is that cool? Like, am I just gonna be like, you know, just be like, am I like, am I invited? Do they like say that I could come? Uh, I mean, you're with me. I uh, is this an American custom? I don't know about. And Mishka's just gonna ring the bell to see. I want to dive into the shrubbery <laughs> just out of instinct. <clears throat> <laughs> it's one of those like fancy doorbells that does like this really long like grandfather clock chime um and uh the the mother comes to the door and she's just like oh michiko you're or Mo is it monica? monica i can never keep monica hi um oh ma'am um uh -huh. katrina's in the, in a room is are, are you here to see her she was i don't remember her saying she was expecting you is there is there somebody in the bushes? No. What? Um, Who's it? Yes, I am here <laughs> to see Katrina. Uh, oh. It's she just left some paperwork. Uh, oh, paperwork. Is she get? Is she getting a job? Katrina, oh, no. are you getting a job? No, this is too for, young. This is for you shouldn't have to work. No, ma'am. This is for studying. Uh, she left her fashion notebook at the diner. Fashion notebook at the time. All right, well, you can go inside. Um, you know where her room is. Thank you, ma'am. And Michiko's just going to take off her shoes immediately. Just kind of looks around. Snap out. Who's in the what? Who's in the bushes? Harry, I think one of those peeping toms is in the in the bushes. Can you get your gun? <laughs> 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 Uh, kind of just crawl, roll out of the shrubs. Hey, hey, sir. Michiko, do you know this weird young man? I got a scrape. Uh huh. Um, I could use some peroxide and a cloth. Um, I fell in. You you fell in the bushes. I fell into the bushes. Uh huh. And I couldn't get out. It was it was like a maze. <laughs> um, and then trying to get out. Michiko, you have some weird friends. Just letting you know, you shouldn't ha you shouldn't hang around this boy. He seems. Are you on drugs? <laughs> no, ma'am. What day is it? Friday. No. She just kind of like. <laughs> any get inside, please, please. <laughs> 
you're letting in you're letting in the bugs. Um, so you're inside this really B B bugs not here. <laughs> you're inside this really like ritzy sort of high ceilings um, uh, house. The walls just have all sorts of gaudy paintings and just like rich people crap on them that what they think is cool. Um, Mishko. Yeah? Is this just a room where you wait to go into a different room? Uh, yes, from my understanding, this is their front hallway. It looks like a room, basically. And then it branches off to the living room, and then from there, the kitchen, and then the dining room, and then a mud room, and then uh, a different room, and then some stairs. And then uh, there, are, there are bathrooms here. Three on the bottom floor. Anyways, um, Caprina, you kids want some soda? Uh, no, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I will be in and out. All right. Um, Do you have a Schweppes bitter lemon? <laughs> <laughs> you drink Schweppes? just kind of leans out and looks at you like again are you on drugs yeah no one, no one is, it, is it still friday yes no <laughs> and mishka is just gonna go up to katrina's room okay i'm Randy. with her i'm with her i'm with her i'm gonna go right uh yes please mishka if you don't mind i like you but he is i just sleep quickly Yes, understood, ma'am. Mm -mm. And, uh, yeah, Mishka's just gonna go upstairs, knock on the door. Trina! As I walk uh, past the mom, I want to, mm -hmm. like, simultaneously, like, bow, but, like, salute and wave. <laughs> Harry, I think that kid's on drugs. <laughs> Did you find your gun? <clears throat> I'm just gonna go upstairs. Uh, uh, Katrina, I have your fashion notebook. So the door is closed, and you can just hear like the Cure playing, just blasting on the inside. Um, it's an '80s band. Um, <clears throat> door opens, and Katrina's got like rollers in her hair, and just like it reeks of hairspray. And then she sees Randy, and she's just like, <gasps> and then slams the door. <laughs> Uh, Katrina! One second! <clears throat> Understood. Um, just comes back and opens the door and it's just like her hair is like sort of done and like <clears throat> makeup's a little little splotchy but like oh, Michiko, what are you doing here? You left your fashion notebook at the diner. Oh, Wednesday. did I? I'm so forgetful. Oh my god. Is that Randy with you? Why did you bring him? I mean, I isn't he poor? Um, I brought Randy because uh, our bike got well. I don't have a bike, but uh, and neither huh? does he. But uh, our friend's bike got stolen by Forrest and his motley gang. And oh my God, Forrest, he's such an asshole sometimes. <sighs> he's such kind of a good kisser. I don't know. Anyway, um, so like, what do you want? Um, I was. You mentioned the last study session that you went to their new hideout. Oh my god, no. yeah, we like made out and it was just, uh, he was so handsy. It was just like the worst. Michiko's face is just like bright red. <laughs> like, uh, not to be crude, but what does it mean to make out? Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not even there. I'm um, just like, uh, Randy, can you explain that to her, please? Because, like, I just can't do it. it uh, it's just, mm, it feels weird. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, like, they're sure, yeah, like, whatever. I can, like, totally talk about, like, what making out is. Like, you know, yeah, pretty great at it. Oh. Whatever. Are you? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> you're, you're, like, kind of hot, but not in, like, a poor way. You want okay. you want you want like you're kind of I guess like kind of pretty but like in like a rich like stuck up way so like whatever. Do you want to make out right now? 
Yeah. Cool. Pulls him in and like they <laughs> like five five six minutes come by and like Randy just comes out and just like covered in lipstick or whatever and she's just like anyway um yeah their place is like um it's in the woods somewhere oh god he's always talking about like the porn he has uh it's so gross anyway um yeah uh, you know it, you know <laughs> what anyway um you'll know it because there's like a big tree and then like there's an electrical equipment i think it has something to do with the loop i don't know because like i'm gonna be a fashion model someday and i don't need to know about science because science is just lame anyway True. um yeah, totally yeah lame. um is that okay so like if you go down the dunes and then you go behind the uh air base and then you go back into the woods there'll be like a clearing but you don't want that clearing you want to go like two clearings in and then like take a right and then follow the railroad tracks and then you'll find like an abandoned rail car and then you go past the abandoned rail car and then but you have to go like double back into like the first clearing that you came into and then cross over so and it's then, like, so it's so it's past the dunes behind the loop building near the box car oh yeah yes it is yeah cool. why do we go all the, over the place i don't know anyways um, so like uh, anyway uh thanks mitch Co for my like my uh my book um I you want to hang out tomorrow uh, sure. I think my calendar is so I'm going to just take out our calendar. Yes. Okay, if you want to, you can, like, bring David, and then I'll, like, bring my boyfriend, which... Randy, you want to hang out tomorrow? Whatever. Anyway, okay, cool. So the, we'll hang at the mall, and we'll go to, like, the food court, and we'll get milkshakes and stuff. It'll be awesome. And then you guys can be, like, looking cool with my... I'll, I'll be, like, the cool kid, and then you'll all be, like... You know, you'll do things for me, and it'll be like, oh my god, those people are doing things for me, and it'll be great. Good. Thank you. Katrina. All right, bye. Anyway, um, like if you're, uh, we're gonna be watching like horror films later. If you want to like come over, it'll be great. Thank you for the invitation, but I think I, oh, I have SAT prep tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, God, studying sounds so lame. Oh, my God, Michiko, you're always studying. Anyway, okay, so bye. Oh, hey, before you go, really quick, I had a great idea about pants. Okay. What? So, like, I know sometimes I've got more stuff that I have pockets, right? Uh-huh. So I'm thinking, like, pants with lots of pockets, but also right. that are, like, flared really big at the ends. I mean no Randy. oh my god like so like you could put your keys and like if you had a if you could carry like a phone you could put that wow you know what um cool uh so yeah that um you know what randy you're kind of like what what like an entrepreneur or something that's that's really cool enter i'm i don't what and yeah, did you call me did you say that i enter vocabulary word <laughs> no. anyway I, I'm gonna go set up. I'm gonna go cook some, cook some popcorn for later. So I'll see you later, Mitch Cow. She goes to her kitchen and just leaves you in the hallway. <laughs> what knickknacks do they have in the hallway? Um, just like annoying, like, uh, just random statues of, like, Oh, like hunting dogs. Like this entire hallway is just like hunting dogs okay. for some reason. Uh, I I I snatch the one that's like in the middle up cl up front on one of the tables. Just be like, okay. just for no reason. But I'm gonna just steal one because yeah, cool. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I did not see that. We have what we came for. Uh, I forgot what is. Uh, Katrina's last name. Uh, where are my notes? You would ask that. <laughs> Dirty Jane, making me scroll up. Very polite. Uh, Miller. Her last name is Miller. Uh, goodbye, Miss Miller. Thank you for your hospitality. Bye, Monica. Bye, weirdo. You really <laughs> shouldn't do drugs. It's not good. And it's Friday. <laughs> Harry, if you ever see that kid again, you should shoot him. I feel like he just, he's bad. 
So back to the hideout, we have David, Timothy, and Bug. Um, the uh, <laughs> the uh, Triceratops kind of acts like a cat and always wants to rub up on you guys. Oh, and like, Lord. It does. It kind of has like a weird purr. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, you've kind of like made a bed for it in a, an old truck bed um, that's there's an old truck in the garage that just has never started so that's where it, its bed is now um it hasn't it's been a few weeks it's gotten a little bigger but it's still just the small you know like dinosaur baby thing um so uh after some time passes uh michiko and randy get back um to the hideout and everybody's there playing with the triceratops what do you do Do we know how big this thing is going to get and how quick? <laughs> uh, yeah, you have. Well, I mean, David keeps reading books about what's going on with Triceratops, but um, all of the knowledge about dinosaurs in the 80s was wrong, apparently. So, you know, it 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 says it will grow anywhere from four feet to 40 feet in length. 40 to 60 to 80. Who knows? Good thing that we have a magical hideout. Right, exactly. Right. What's the necklace bug? It's for the Triceratops, just so somebody knows that it's a pet. Oh, yeah, okay, so you put that around and it doesn't quite fit, so you, ha like, start linking uh, extra ne necklaces together. And it has this big mishmash uh, collar on. Uh, what's the <laughs> Triceratops' name? That is a bug question. Tina. That is a bug question. Tina? Yeah. Okay, so Tina the dinosaur. The triceratops. Tina the Triceratops. Tina the Triceratops. Good. Uh, I like it. Uh, David, this is in your backyard. So. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so Michiko and Randy get back from their excursion. And um, Randy still kind of got like makeup and stuff smeared all over him. Um, and uh, yeah, Michiko knows the... Uh, knows the coordinates in quotes <clears throat> of uh where the hideout is hello i have returned and i still do not know what making out means but i have the information that we need oh also david you have been invited to come to the mall with me and randy and katrine tomorrow okay <laughs> yeah no problem <clears throat> um First thing that I want to do is the second I get a chance, I'm going to call uh, Timothy and uh, David, like, just off of the side. Like, hey, can I just talk to you two for like, just a second real quick? <laughs> yeah, man, what's up? Like, again, just, like, away, like, to the side. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah cool, yeah. God, I totally made out with Katrina. I made out with her, like, really super hardcore. I made out with her. I, it was, I was super awesome. It was so freaking cool. I made out with her. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> David. Yeah. Michiko totally wants to make out tomorrow, so you're going to have to learn how to do that real quick. The color just drains <laughs> from me. <laughs> Randy, Randy, what if you show David how to make out right now? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I feel like we've got... It seems like a step you have to just kind of... I don't know. I hadn't thought of it. No, we couldn't. <laughs> we could. No, it wouldn't. Couldn't work. All right, all right, never mind. Uh, <laughs> good for you, man. But we have a try. We have like a whole ass dinosaur we got to worry about, though. Yeah, well, you people get dinosaurs every day. Made out with an Aquanet. <laughs> also, David's bike was stolen. Yeah, we do need to solve that. My mom will be real mad if she finds out I lost my bike. Oh yeah, yeah I'm so sorry about your bike. That does kind of suck. <laughs> the day is growing long, um, so you kind of need to find that bike before tomorrow. Oh yeah, otherwise, how are you gonna get to the mall, man? That is true. Oh, yeah, cool. All right. Anyway, 
Let's go. Aquanet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you kids head out. Um... <laughs> I'm so out. sorry. I am trying to think, like, what would a dumbass, like, 13, 14 year old be like? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No, that that's pretty perfect. Uh, that's pretty spot on. Um, so yeah, you guys, you kids, head out um, to the dunes, and then you head into the woods, and you find that clearing, and um, you aren't sure. Like Katrina's directions were kind of terrible, so somebody's gonna need to roll to uh, figure out which direction the boxcar actually is. What roll would that be? Um, that would be mind and investigate. Oh, not you're... me. I'm good at that. <laughs> All right, David, save the day. Uh, and because I was given a um bonus for making Randy a peeping Tom, this is going to be a little more difficult for you. You're going to need a few successes. Only got one. <laughs> you only got one? I can try. So I, I'll spend a uh, luck. Or whatever it's okay. called. Okay. Yeah. Roll it. Up. Roll it again. Yep. That's two more. Two more. Oh, wow. Awesome. Three successes. Uh, that's exactly what you needed. <clears throat> you are wandering in the woods. And you're like, no, I remember the rail tracks are this way. And you find the tracks and you follow them. Um, and you in, end up heading in the right direction. And you find the boxcar. Um, and just beyond that is like a single tree that's raised. Um, just up on the, uh, um, on, there are no hills in Florida, but this is like as best as it's gonna get sort of hill with a tree on top, like a lone palm tree. Um, so you go rushing up there and um, you find a crate with like some magazines in it, but they're all like car magazines. And you're like, well, I thought this was supposed to be porn, God damn it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, there's your, uh, your bike is actually up in the tree. It's just an ambush. <laughs> it's a trap. Did you guys gonna make her roller skates into nunchucks again? <laughs> Cover me, guys. I'm going climbing. Okay. Um, gonna need you to give. Um, this this is a this is a pretty tall, pretty thick palm tree. Um, you might need some help. So okay. maybe some. Yeah. Uh, can I give um, him a boost? Is Mishko uh, technically the tallest out of everyone? Michiko is the tallest, yes. Yeah, you, get, you got the nunchuck. No, oh, do you have no, any broken it's okay. Pockets? Here. And Michiko will, like, pick up David. Ah! <laughs> so, I don't have any rope, but I've got this paint we could score all over the faces. I think if you get on my shoulders, you should be tall enough. So David is now on Michiko's shoulders. Um, Timothy and Bug, what are you two doing? Uh, probably just watching this ridiculous thing happen. Okay, cool. Uh, Bug, what you doing? Preparing. You gonna squirt paint? Yes. Okay. And Randy, what are you doing? Um, do we see their actual hideout? Um, like the building, you see like the structure on the back side of the palm, just the, like at the top of the hill, is just like a bunch of old broken like long lawn chairs. Uh, there's a couple beer bottles and stuff. So you're like. Not much of a hideout at the top of the hill. Like, okay, whatever. <clears throat> I start, you think maybe I start, they hang out in the boxcar? I start smashing their stuff. Oh, damn, that's messed up. <clears throat> but good call. Uh, so Michiko is a little wobbly and looks like she could use a little help stabilizing. Um, somebody want to help? I got to smash this chair, so... Because I guess Valid. Timothy will help then. Timothy will help and like, kind of like pushes. Isn't Timothy's how tall is Timothy? Uh, I don't know that I wrote that down. Uh, and you're 13. twelve, I don't right? Know. I have Thir no 13? idea what a thirteen. Yeah. I don't know either, but like, um, it's that weird, awkward moment of like you don't want to touch a girl in the wrong way, so you're kind of like on her back and got her pushed forward, but then like you don't want to touch David's butt, and like it's just the whole awkward moment. Um, and uh, Randy's over there smashing things, and Bugs just sitting there. Uh, David, give me a um, a body and a move. 
Can I call Bug over to help me pick up, like, this thing and break it? Success. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bug, do you want to be a delinquent? I mean... Sure. Okay, cool. Um, Bug is over there now being a delinquent. That is a second child that you've corrupted, Randy. Good job. Um, so, I'll, David... I'll break off a piece of the chair and give it to Bug. Here. This is a chair leg. You can have it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> David can kind of like get the wheel and is like slowly like pulling it down. And as soon as he goes to touch the metal pieces of the bike, um, something weird happens. Uh, David, you're standing with your bike at the top of this hill, but it's changed. Um, the tree that was once next to you is now like just a stump and it's on fire. Uh, off in the distance, you see fire and like you see the old air station just like destroyed um the the three towers of the loop are just ob obliterated and just on fire and like sparking weird colors and off in the distance standing in the ocean you see this really tall like rotund creature um that has to be as high as skyscrapers and you don't see any eyes you don't see any head but you do see like two bulbous arms that end in like massive claws and then um you see what appears to be um, a mouth forming in its stomach as big old gnarly like white teeth just jagged and gross appear out of its stomach and, it, and its its mouth starts to open and you just hear it say weird that happens for a moment it weird? And weird it says yeah. weird and you go to scream but then you realize you're passed out on the ground and like you you can barely see you feel really addled and like your your eyes are fluttering and you think you see like a robot standing over you but then you eventually pass out Michiko mm -hmm. you wake up you're slowly like waking up and you realize that you hear your grandmother's voice um, speaking to you in Japanese uh, and they're they're like pleading with you to wake up they're like oh my god I'm so sorry that, you know what did you do you foolish girl like you're always hanging out with these children um, that sort of thing but while you you think the voice should be coming in front of you you um, you, you can't it, it, it's like coming from beside you and you look over and you see yourself and your grandmother is laying is like standing over you uh just um pleading and trying to say something to japanese oh, am i dead oh, i don't know are you you look around the room and you see the other kids are in like other hospital beds and you look around and you're like you're in a hospital bed um but you look at your hands, you're like, those are boys' hands. What? Did I swap bodies with someone? <clears throat> Possibly. Where's the mirror? You look and like, there's a bedpan and you look and you're David. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Well, Bajan doesn't like me when I'm David. Oh no! Wait. You're actually saying this out loud, but you're saying it in English. You're trying to like say it in Japanese, but you just—it's like you don't have the mental understanding of how to speak Japanese. Um, and the Michiko next to you is just kind of looking at you and just got really big bug eyes. Uh, and just freaking out and the way that David tends to freak out in that way when he goes flush when he something doesn't happen <clears throat> David Ichiko's grandmother is over you just screaming at you in Japanese you you actually can understand what's going on and what she's saying to you and but you're just horrified as you have realized that you're in Michiko's body 
<laughs> I'm just gonna pass out again. <laughs> uh, you can you can hear uh, uh, Michiko's grandmother like screaming for a nurse, screaming for a nurse, uh, nurse that uh, she's passed out. Um, Timothy, Randy, and Bug, you three wake up as well. Um, Randy, mm. you wake up and you feel. You don't feel like yourself. Um, you feel kind of groggy, and then like you're trying to like rub it out of your eyes, and you feel like hand feels weird. Like hand feels small. Hand feels really small. And you look, and you have like a little. You have a little hand. What? Yeah, your bug. No. No. I don't want to be bug. <laughs> Why do I have this arrowhead? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, your bug. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> You got freaky Friday. He did. Son of a bitch. It's Friday. It is it's fucking Friday. Friday. We got we got fucking Friday. Uh, Timothy, you wake up and um, you are um, uh, you would be in. He, he would have to be Randy. He would have to be. Yeah. You're Randy. Then would Bug be the tri? Oh no, Bug would be Timothy. Okay. Bug is Timothy. Yeah, it's like, wait, would one of us have to be the Triceratops? So, no, did no, we ride the I was did hoping one of us would have to be the Triceratops. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Timothy, you wake up and like you feel taller, you feel bigger, you feel like you you have like a weird nicotine, like <laughs> you just really want to smoke a cigarette more so than usual um this is the 80s and i think you could still smoke in some hospitals at the time um so uh i'm just really i'm just super excited that i put this hat on without knowing this was happening today <laughs> yeah you're randy and then uh bug you wake up and you realize very quickly because you don't feel normal at all or you maybe feel absolutely normal um and yeah you're timothy Huh. <laughs> Did we get struck by lightning? No, you don't remember anything at all. Hey. Grandma, did we get... What happened? Uh, she, oh, you're awake. Um, and she says to you, and she's like, they, they don't know. Um, like, none of you came home last night, um, and all your parents are there, and they're all, like, rambling, like, oh, you're awake, and then, like, why didn't you come home? We had wait, the police. They, they wait, looked in the woods for you. What, what year is it? It's, it's, it's Were Saturday. Were you asleep for 20 years? No, it's Saturday. Bug, it's Saturday. Were we abducted by Were, aliens? <gasps> Were we on milk cartons? Are we milk carton children? No, you, it's, it's the next day. It's just the next day. Bug, what is wrong with you? Are, are you brain damaged? Oh my God, our, our, little, our, no. our little baby's brain damaged. No, I just kind of wanted to be on a milk carton. Oh, that's okay, Bug. You know what? We'll get you milk on the way home. <gasps> chocolate? Sure. I don't like chocolate milk. Then why did you ask for it? To see what you'd say. Whatever you want, honey. It's, it's fine. Strawberry. Do you like strawberry? Maybe. I don't know. I've never okay. had it, but I've wanted to. Okay, we but can get seemed, strawberry milk. But it seemed like forbidden fruit. Oh, um, okay. Um, doctor, is there some <laughs> sort of scan you can do on our child? Just to, they, They're talking weirder than usual. <laughs> Bug is fun. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Timothy, your parent, your, you have both, do you have both your parents? I can't remember. It's been a while since we, 
<laughs> Sorry. Me? Do you have, yeah, do you have both your parents? Uh, yes, my parents are married. I guess one of them is, uh, we decided last time he's Oh, the yeah, he's the cop. That's right. Um, that's right. The sheriff. Um, so, um... Crap, I gotta redo my notes. Okay, so Timothy is in Randy, and then Bug is in Timothy. I can't type there. Anyway, okay. So, um, uh, Randy's cousin happens to be there, um, in one of their sober moments. Um, because they freaked out all night and just kind of forgot to use drugs. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's just like, man, you stupid kid. Fucking, I couldn't get high last night because you were, like, fucking in the woods or some shit. Like, god damn it. Fucking Randy. You have a cigarette I can bomb? God, you're always bumming my goddamn cigarettes. No, you can't smoke in a hospital, Randy. Dumbass. What if, Come on. What if you smoked really close to the oxygen tank? <laughs> like, 90. what? Just kind of looks over you like, oh, you fucking weird kid. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go out have, outside and have a smoke, Randy. Like, I'll smoke one for you. How's that? Wait, wait. I'll just come with you. No. Like, no. Just do that thing where you, like, never come home, but don't come home until, like, the last possible hour. And then don't sleep much. And then, like, just do that, okay? Because I'm going to have, like, people over. Anyway, I think I'm glad you're alive. <clears throat> Thanks, I guess. Cool. See you later, Randy. Don't Whatever. Us. Whatever. Uh, hi, mother. Need yeah. To figure out what happened. David's mom is just really freaking out because she thought she lost her son and having lost her uh, her husband, it's kind of not a great spot for her. Um, so she's just like there and she's just like constantly holding your hand and squeezing it. And she's like, oh, David, I'm, I'm so glad you're alive. I'm so, oh, you really gave me a scare. You can't be doing this. And where is that bike of yours? I bought it for you just the other day. And are you telling me you've already lost it? No, I didn't lose it. It was stolen from me, and I couldn't defend myself because I was tied to a pole by Forrest and his goonies. Oh, is that bully bullying you again? I thought that was yes. over with. You know what? I'm going to go call your teacher, and we're going to deal with this. I, I, I don't think calling the teacher. I think maybe the principal. Uh, they have uh, hurt us many times. Uh, maybe even the what police. Kind of what kind of school am I sending you? You know, next year I'm gonna send you to private school. Oh no, no, um, no. Uh, I, I I hear that the bullying in the private school is even worse. All right. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go downstairs. There's some paperwork I have to do before they discharge you. I'm just I'm glad you're okay. Kisses you on the forehead, ruffles your hair, and then uh, moves on. Um, they actually have to drag Michiko's grandmother out because she just really doesn't want to leave her side. Um, David, have you said anything as Michiko at this point? Yeah, I asked still what just... happened. Oh, that's right. Um, so, uh, Bug, Timothy's parents are just kind of chill about the whole thing. Um, he his cop father is just like you know what I'm going to find out who did this to you and I'm going to arrest them and then I'm going to like put them in jail then like beat them but then like say you know like one of their cellmates did it I mean it's accurate yeah I don't I don't have a problem with this actually but can I have my calculator oh yeah sorry here you go all right yeah Thanks. all right so um, all right, uh, gotta go do some paperwork, so they're gonna let you out of here. Apparently, you're fine. Your blood work's fine. Uh, they said you got like some brain weird brain waves. I don't know. They're they're looking into that, but they're gonna let you out anyway. So, what job? Cool. Did Probably just because I'm really smart. Right. That's what I told them. You're gonna you're gonna like work for NASA or something in, in the future when you grow up. It'd be great. Thanks, Dad. All right, son. <laughs> Officer. So you're all Officer. alone in the room. Officer. <laughs> and walking away and just kind of looks at you like, Bug, is it? 
What job did my blood get? I'm sorry, what? You said my blood was doing work. What job did it get? I hope it's an architect. He doesn't even know how to process that and just walks away. <laughs> uh, so yeah, all you kids are left alone in the room and there's no nurses. You're you're in one of those big rooms where like it's just four beds across. It's like two beds on one side, two on the other. And then they brought in another bed for uh, the fifth kid. And um, what do you kids do? Uh, we have, I'm assuming, traded bodies. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like that. Oh my gosh, David, you have no ability to understand Japanese or speak it. Well, now I can. It's weird. I don't like it. Help, please. I'm very confused and afraid. Oh, mother is very nice. I she wish, is. Help. I wish I had parents who loved me. Your parents love you fine. Uh, can we figure out a way to put our bodies back? Well, we were at that place. You grabbed your bike and... And I don't know. Uh, out of character, did we all see the vision that you described? Or was it just... Only David saw only that David. one. Only David, okay. Only David so saw it. So would Michiko and David's body remember that? Or is it David's consciousness in Michiko's body that remembers uh, that? Even David doesn't remember that happening. Like, that whole event is totally wiped from both of your, your minds. Okay. Okay, so we were in the forest getting the bike back. And then after that, we don't... Did, 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 did we at least get the bike? Oh, no. No, I think David's mother confirmed that we did not get the bike back. <laughs> David. Uh, David. Michiko. Roll a roll a mind and comprehend, but as David. Oh boy, Harry. That would be eight dice. Wow. Oh. Wait, is that eight or nine? I need to double check. Let me just open up Astral. The <laughs> okay, eight, the six. Uh. And that will be uh, two successes. Two successes. So you're trying to remember, and you're trying to remember like the layout and everything, and you remember Randy was breaking a bunch of shit, but there was a, you, you remember now, and Randy was not recalling what was going on, it wasn't really paying attention, he was just wrecking everything. There was a weird piece of technology that was there. Like the whole place was encircled in like this weird ring. Huh. Oh no. Okay. I have something. Or David has something. This body remembers something. Well, stop, stop keeping is... it as an untold story project because they're rating us with four viewers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Untold Story. That, Untold uh, Story Project. Apropos. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you may want to update them on what's going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, so er all the kids have switched bodies, um, and they're trying to remember what happened, and they're trying to figure out how they can fix this. Uh, okay, so, Randy. Who is... Yeah. Who is... Uh, okay, uh... Rug, uh, Rug, you were smashing. You were smashing things. I and smashed it was like, good. A little too good. You smashed this machine, I think. And th 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 that machine was some sort of technical device. And I think that's why we swap bodies. Wow, I am great at speaking English right now. My, <laughs> I don't have an accent. I can use all these complex vocabulary words. Uh, hypervision! Okay, so bring me the machine and I'll clip it back together. Uh, I, I don't think that that's how that works. Uh, a machine that was damaged would likely have to be repaired and reassembled. And then, uh, we, we, we don't even know if it can be reassembled. Oh my gosh, David, you have so much anxiety! I would just like to state for the record that I will not be doing a Japanese accent. That's fair. No, that's it's fair. absolutely fair. That's fine. Good. David, you speak so 
so quickly. Oh my god, are you okay? No. Also, why is it when I look at you, I feel like... Is that part of your anxiety? Yeah, that's totally it. <laughs> Yeah, you're smart. You figured it out. See, you got... Yes, the 13-year-old boy is filled with anxiety. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, so short. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so tall. <laughs> okay, so... Um, you guys have this conversation, or you kids have this conversation, um, and you or all let out and um you really insist that with your parents like you want to hang out like you're fine and they're just like okay whatever we got stuff to do we're parents your kids in the are 80s. apparently fine we're parents in the 80s was exactly <laughs> what i was going to say <laughs> <laughs> so you're outside the front of the um the hospital um uh everybody give me uh mind and comprehend but you have to roll them as the other person Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. What's um, your mind and comprehend? Harry, my mind and comprehend is just three dice. Yeah, let's be... Oh, wow. I have nothing in comprehend. It's just three mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, that is uh, one singular. success. Okay. Right. Let's roll. Keep, we, yeah, we Harry, need to keep you this like, roll really ordered. Roll 3d6. And that is... No successes. Okay, Steve, roll. Uh, so I didn't know what Bug's mind and comprehend is ever. My mind is four, okay. and my comprehend is one. One, two, three, four, and then one. No successes. Okay. Uh, um, JT. Randy's oh, mind is Steve. three, comprehend is zero, so you are rolling three dice. Hey. <laughs> One success. One success, okay? Cool. Dude? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it sounds like you collectively all got at least like three single successes, I think. Okay. Um, so you're all standing there and you're all just kind of freaking out a little bit and you're trying to like assess the situation. And you overhear a couple of the nurses uh, talking about the one kid they brought in before you um, and how they got carried off. They were absolutely catatonic. They couldn't uh, revive them. Um, was in some sort of weird coma and um, they got taken to the loop. Huh? Hmm. They're like, wasn't he that bully? Yeah, I think he was that bully kid. I think, I don't know. His father's kind of an idiot poacher or something. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah. Looks like we're going to have to go back to the loop. <clears throat> Looks like it. Maybe Gertie can get bully? us there. <laughs> I mean, uh, wait. We have to loop back to the loop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this feeling? Why can I not breathe? <laughs> Am I having an anxiety attack? <laughs> yeah, you are. Wow, I feel weirdly calm about all this. <laughs> <laughs> So you all do have bonus dice the next time that you have to roll. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know that you burned out part of the that secret part of the loop. So that doesn't seem right to go there. You might actually have to break into the real loop or find a, a way in somehow. Oh, all right. Hey, David. Does, yeah. does your dad study still? Like, is that still in your house? Because there's this room that I can't go into when I'm babysitting for you guys. It should be. Yeah. Is that your dad's study? I think so. Maybe we can find his ID card from the loop. There. I doubt it would still work, but 
Maybe. Maybe it does, you know? They're a big bureaucratic system. Oh, wow, I can say big words like that. Wow. Um, and they don't have enough time to just completely erase everyone up to date. And also, they don't know if he's dead or not. And, oh, 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 ha, uh, ha, ha, breathing. Um, David, where do you keep your inhaler on your... Oh, my God, these pockets are so deep. Back pocket. Back pocket. Back left. <laughs> Uh, Bug, because you are Timothy, Timothy would recall that they were able to crack into the system through that one um, location, and they're pretty familiar with the OS. Um, if they were able to like get to a terminal, even if they might be able to reactivate David's dad's old credentials, at worst case. I, I would... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I would relay this to the party. Okay. Um, cool. So, do you rush over to David's house and try to find those creds? I must do yes. that. Okay. Yeah. So, you all go rushing over. Um, David's I... mom's just like, oh, hi, honey. Um, I was going to go to the grocery store. Do you want anything? Uh, I ins I have to like clap my hand over my mouth to stop from responding. <laughs> Vegetables. What? What? Brussels sprouts. What? No. You know, are you feel? Do I need to take you back to the hospital? You've never said the word Brussels sprouts ever. No, mom. I just. I was doing some reading. He means chicken nuggets. No, I was doing some reading. And oh, I Michiko. Saw Did, okay. Um, the benefits of eat a healthy diet in in that book, and I. Jane, you're just adding me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, okay, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. But uh, you kids have fun. Uh, don't don't get knocked out again. Um. Mm -mm. Wow. Saying bye, mom. Like that's. That's great. <laughs> cool. Also, so, your mom does grocery shopping for you? I'm the one who has to do that at my house. Oh, excuse me, bitch. You should probably go check on a watch on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, she usually eats around now. Oh, I, I don't know how to cook! Oh, no. Well, anyways. To, to the office! I gotta go check on a watch on. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> I feel like it's Randy's time to shine. We shouldn't go breaking into. So, um, Timothy, Wait, there was or I should say, JT, you remember as Randy, um, the there was a the break fence. in the fence yeah, the from the very first. There's a hole in the fence at the back end of the Navy base that you kids could probably sneak into. Uh, so you got creds. Um, you rush down there. Um, bikeless, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, you're standing at that gap in the fence and you're just looking at it and going, okay, <clears throat> who's first? I mean, I guess I'll go. Whatever. <laughs> You go diving through, um, and uh, you're at the very far end of, like, the airstrip, just where, like, there's a bunch of big rigs of lights and things like that. Um, and there's, like, a, there, there's the, um, the loop actually has a sort of office building um, at the back end um, that's connected to the Navy base. Um that's not the marketing building that you had weird adventures in, but this is actually like sort of the entrance to the loop. And then there's like a causeway that goes down into the underground ocean area. Um, so you guys, you kids all go marching down. Um, Randy as uh, JT, give me a, give me a body and a move. That is going to be for you a high number. Beautiful. Seven dice for you. One success. One success. Um. Actually, you had that extra die. 
uh, from oh. from the crowd. So we'll say it gives you another success. So you um, are able to sneak in pretty easily because um, you pass by a couple of guards, um, uh, kind of sneak behind some crates, and you're able to make it up to um, uh, like the building side of itself. Um, you see a like a keypad, um, like where you could possibly put David's dad's credentials, and you push it up against it, and it turns red. So something the cred the creds are not active apparently. That would Shit. make sense. Uh, that weird feeling's coming back. <laughs> Bug, you're me. Can you hack some stuff? I, I could probably hack some stuff, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm smart enough. It's bug, you roll up there and like you're able to, you're, uh, Timothy has managed to rig his TI calculator with like a, um, an external port that he can like kind of jack in. Um, give me a tech and tinker and as you try to get into this 80s keypad. Uh. Uh, <laughs> that is gonna be six six all right nice okay let's see here. we're still outside the facility right you're still outside yeah and okay. remember you get an extra die because of uh good stuff from hot dog wizard okay two successes ha. two successes technically three um so you know actually... i rolled the extra die oh you did okay cool yeah. um so you're actually like typing in a program on your ti and um, you're a you actually are able to get into the system and you ha bring up like a very small, very cheesy OS on your screen and you're able to get through personnel and you find David's dad's name and you activate him and you're, you're actually able to get in through that door. Um, and you get inside, um, it's very well air conditioned. It fair, the, the air feels very clean. Um, and you're at some back room, some like uh, storage room, uh, hallway type thing. Uh, doesn't look like a lot of people come down this way. It doesn't look like a lot of people enter in this way. I feel so much fear. David, why do you feel so much fear all the time? I thought I was visiting Obachin, but yeah. Oh, I guess I'm with you guys. Well, yeah, you are with them. I know a lot and that makes me afraid of a lot. Okay, but so, but are you afraid of dragons? Dragons aren't real. Uh, also, what? How can you say dragons aren't? Is. How can you say dragons aren't real? Are we you not? fought. We fought a ten-foot crab. Why couldn't there be? Yeah, dragons? that is a fair point. Rawr. Well. Oh my gosh, I actually have an answer to this question. Well, the reason why David thought that dragons weren't real is because in our perceived universe, uh, there is no evidence. However, through our experience of traveling through an alternate dimension, we have been confirmed that there is alternate life on other worlds, but that creature was not a dragon. That was something that uh, we do see. It was just gigantized. What wow, about, David, you I mean, a what, car for I guess. What, <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna, but... <laughs> what, what about the monster that shot out of the ocean that the robot man punched? That was likely some sort of deep sea creature that we are yet to discover. Or some kind of sea serpent. Yes, <gasps> sea serpent, deep sea creature. Uh, Dragons are hiding under the ocean. Perhaps some species of squid. It did have tentacles, so likely uh, perhaps a cephalopod, maybe a cuttlefish, or an octopus, or a squid. Uh... No, I don't. Well, technically, there are sea dragons. Um, or sea so, horses. You know. David Michiko is rambling off in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you kids do at this point? <clears throat> you look down the hallway, and it's a very long hallway. Um, and at the end, you you see like. 
every once in a while uh, a military guard wa walks past. Wait, how many? So mm, we could subdue one of the military guards. Are you kidding me? Like, look at this. I'm like, I can move around and do stuff. I'm agile and strong. I feel like I could when, take the world over. When did no. you totally take him? They probably have guns. Feel... And if we get them, we'll have guns. No, they'll shoot us. And we'll Not shoot Randy. them. How, how do you feel about this? I, I feel like I need to play Randy. <laughs> and Randy has an over, has a, uh, oh, the word I'm looking for. Randy has a, I'm playing Randy now, so I forget words. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. An overinflated sense of ability. Yes, this is true. <laughs> okay, so do you want to try to take this military guard? Absolutely. Come on. Okay. Oh my god, you're actually doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> it was does, nice knowing you. Does not Michiko want to help because they are so athletic? Michiko is very athletic. She does track and she does... Oh, fuck. I forget it. it kendo. Kendo is definitely oh. fighting. So I would know how to do it. Yeah, you, you, would, yeah. you would have... Uh, you would have. Hit him with a watch. You would have twelve years of experience with kendo. <laughs> also, you have the samurai sword in your roller skates. So I'm not going to kill too. this military guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not Randy. How do you approach this? Um, what is what is Randy's special uh, special item? Uh, a uh, lighter. Yeah, zip a lighter. Zip a lighter. Bug, do you have that paint still? Uh, uh wait. It, uh, well, other bug. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guess not. Here, let me pass it through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have. <laughs> Is, is the paint flammable, or is it like water based? Is it oil or water based? Uh, no, but I have this old piece of paper. It's acrylic. <laughs> it's acrylic. I don't know. Is acrylic? Flammable. Acrylic's water based. Oh, it's, no, it's not flammable. It's it's it could be tender. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay, what's your plan? I'm gonna put the. Um, Put, I'm gonna light the uh, paper on fire and stick it in a uh, in a uh, where it's seriously <laughs> in a what are you going in to a vent in, in, a, in vent. a vent okay um, so you stick it in there there is a vent closer down that hallway um, so you run down there you kind of duck into a doorway you 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 light the the, uh, the paper you stick it in the um, in the vent and it. The guard does one or two passes, and then they eventually pick up on the smoke, and they they come walking down. They're just like something burning. What's going on? <clears throat> and they get up close to the vent, and they're just trying to like look in the vent and see like something on fire. What's going on? What the hell? Um, <laughs> do like kick body in the force. shins. Right, yeah, this shit kind of shit. What am I rolling? What is it, Steve? What's the total? Uh, body and force. Mm -hmm. Eight. Okay. Eight. One, two, three, four successes. Hot Get damn. the fuck out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, even, even. Bug Randy is kind of impressed with what happens because cool. all you kids are kind of like looking down the hallway. Um, and so you come out and like you do this weird like slide kick thing into his knee and ankle area and just you hear something crack and he goes down. And he's like, ah, 
fuck? What the hell? Fucking kid, what the fuck is going on? With that, you just like whap him in the face with with like a paperweight that you found in the other room, and he's just out cold. All oh, clear. Let's go. Yeah, go. Cool. Do you just do you just leave this body out? In the no, hallway? we should hide him somewhere. Yeah, solid snake that shit, man. Come on. <laughs> They're like a box or like a cabinet. There is. We can... There is a cabinet that you can just prop up the body and lock the door and put him in. Absolutely perfect. Do you want to remove anything from his person? Yeah, we're not going to let him have his gun. Let's okay. also take his ID. The, and his keys. His keys, ID, He does. he's only got a billy club. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, so you get down that hallway, and at one end is um, an elevator with another guard that's just kind of sitting in a chair reading the newspaper and, and the other way you think goes to like some administrative stuff you're not sure but you're looking at the signs and um you're reading them and you're like that's in swedish i understand swedish somehow i'm gonna Hello? flying sidekick the guard by the elevator door yeah oh just dun, dun, dun. boom okay uh give me a body and a move <laughs> No, not judo. Yeah, it's body and move. How David many, doesn't know the difference. Words? Body and move is five. Total? Yes, five total. Two successes, goddamn. Two oh successes. God. Um, um, you go flying and, oh, you can, we'll let you use your roller skates in this. So that's, that'll be a total of four. Because you go skating down the hallway and just like drop kick this dude with skates on the end, and his head goes into the wall, and you hear a crack and a crunch, and they just slump to the ground, and they're just like, <sighs> and they just have like low level breathing, <laughs> very faint breathing. Would I know any first aid? Any sports uh, medicine? Yeah, Michiko does no sports medicine. Speak, Michiko does no medicine. Um, <laughs> I want to fix, stabilize, don't want to be killer. Well, hopefully it won't be pinned on me when we switch bodies. You'll use, go to uh, jail. Use a uh, heart and charm on that one. Michiko's heart and charm is, uh, cause that's five. And then, uh, so that's eight guys, roll eight guys. And oh my oh god. Oh my god, three successes. Three successes. So you actually did do something fucked up to this dude. Um, but you managed Jeez. to sort of put him in a way and like you put his shoulder like back where it's supposed to be, and um you just kind of slump him on the floor and kind of there it's one of those uh elevator areas where like the hallway's narrow and then opens up to a bigger room. So you're able to like set them in a way where they if they look down the hall they can't see uh that they're slumped on the ground um and uh time. you uh hit the uh the elevator button and you go inside and then you realize shit this is all in swedish but i understand it so you hit okay, the what is it you um there's only a few selections there's um it basically just goes to what's called the tram so you hit that button and you go down and you're in like everybody play half-life mm -hmm. you're in that sort of tram sequence where there's a tram Dope. that you look down a hallway you look down the tram and it's just this big old subway like corridor that just goes off into oblivion and there's a tram there but there also is another guard standing around uh sort of patrolling the uh the um landing i guess is what it's called Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of signs. There's a bunch of like all all of like the warning signs are in Swedish. It's very strange. So if we read Swedish, um, can we speak any of it? No, you don't know how to pronounce the words. You just know how to understand what's actually on the walls. Really oh, weird. No. You're not sure where you picked up that picked that up at. Hmm. Uh, there's only one guard, right? Mm-hmm. 
Well, I'll just roll a body plus move. <laughs> I'm gonna flying sidekick him too. Okay. Get him. You skate out and go running for him. Oh my god. Step body and move. Oh. I'm gonna use a luck there. Okay. Okay, and that That's goes to two successes. two successes. Two successes. Um, you knock him down, but you don't knock him out. Um, he's starting to get get himself back up and pulling out his club. My turn. All right, Randy. Not Randy. <laughs> body and body and move. Body and force. Body and force. What is that? Eight. One, two successes. Two successes. So you go running up, and you just do a clothesline that just racks him, and uh, he slams his head against um, uh, the, the metal floor, and it jostles him a bit, and he's just, like, out cold. Did you guys nice. just... David and Michko and David's body is looking at David and Michko's body. I'm not burdened by any anxiety. I can do anything. <laughs> oh my god! Stop knocking people out with my body! Don't tell me what to do with your body. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this got oh, more this crime. Got, this got weird. What? <laughs> What is this weird feeling? Is this thing... No, this feels different from the anxiety. It's like a, 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 a more, like, warm stirring instead of the cold, harsh pen. Why is my pee? <laughs> 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 God, There's a tram car waiting for you. Perfect. Let's hide that guard that we knocked out. Okay. In the tram car, yes. Do you want to take him in the tram car with you? Yeah, we let's prop him up in a seat with his hat over his face to look like he's sleeping. Okay, cool. Um, so you take the tram car. Probably gonna get this guy in trouble sleeping on the job. <laughs> We're gonna get him fired. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna wake him up. He's Is just he... gonna slump to the floor with a massive gonna... welt on his head. They're gonna be like sleeping on the job again. He's sleeping on the job. We'll get him fired, and then he'll lose all of his income, and then he'll lose his house. And he'll become homeless. Jesus Christ. Fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Got real dark. As it gets real dark, as you go down the tunnel, that then you start feeling like pressurization on you. Um, and then it goes in and then it lights up as it's a, it's a very bright day outside and then it becomes part of like a glass tube. And that tram is just going through the ocean and it's going deeper, deeper, deeper in the ocean and then it goes black again as it goes into a, a metal containment. And um, as you go down into that metal, um, you can actually see the loop, like, round facility just underwater in front of you, just, like, lit up. Um, there's, you can tell that there's possibly an experiment going on, and because there's, like, lights rotating around it and everything. And then, um, yeah, I think that's where we'll take a break as <gasps> the kids enter the real loop for the first time. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Break right, like Steve Austin against who is that? That's Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back at approximately what ten fifty one. Uh, sounds good. All right, be back.
Hey there, Snicker Snacks. We're back. Um, the kids have all swapped bodies. They have broken into the loop. Um, David is a killer machine uh, in Michiko's body now, which Michiko is not down for. But um, as that tram car clears into the loop itself, um, lights start to get lit up. And then there's those like weirdly propaganda signs of like, the loop the future of technology and then just like robots are cool and just those like weird like fallout sort of half-life sort of dark humor sort of billboards um and then eventually it opens up into some of them are actually in swedish um it opens up into a very large lo lobby that um there's like this weird fountain that falls from the ceiling but then like loops back up to the sky um and then there's all kinds of like weird scientific contraptions and that tram pulls into its station and it opens up and you step out into this big lobby and you realize there's people all around and there's sort of like an attendant who sees you kids step out and just like um i'm excuse me uh children are you who what are you doing here uh, yeah. Might I ask you, why aren't you in uniform? Your, uh, your buttons are not shined correctly. Your posture is all wrong. You are severely out of place, and I ought to write you up for this, but I'm feeling forgiving, so please go about your business. We have work to do. This is like a scientist-looking person who's like in a sort of like Disney-esque sort of jumpsuit lab thing who just kind of looks at you like, Who are you, you impetulant little child? How dare you speak to me like that? How dare you speak to us like that? I swear the board of directors will hear about this. Who now step are aside. You? I what? am from the America Wing. I am here to inspect your facilities. How old are you? 23. I have two doctorates. You see, an experiment went rather wrong. Um, no. Okay, playtime's over. I'm, I'm gonna have to go call security. I'll I be kick right her back. In the face. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my good lord! I was. <laughs> hey, you could have, you could have just asked. Can I roll? A I chart? will remind you. There are people all over this lobby. Oh. oh wait. So can I like try to roll charm or something? I thought you were just gonna prompt me after a certain point, but no. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, oh. you're Michiko. Her parents work here. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, I'm actually sorry about that. I'm at, my name is, what's your last, fuck, what's your, hello, uh, I'm uh, the child of the Ichikawas. I am here regarding. An accident went wrong at the house and, it's, it's... and uh, Michiko here is a little confused. So we're just trying to get her to her parents to oh. see if they can help her feel better. Uh oh, and young, my very lead. tall boy, you were saying something? <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, our friend here, uh, an experiment went wrong and we we're just trying to get her back to her parents. Why do you have rabbits on your head? Yeah, uh, a lot of personality shifting, uh, delusions. <laughs> So if you could show us to where the Ichikawas are, that'd be uh, okay. real, real, uh, uh, really real. Give me one second, JT. You were gonna say something. Uh, I'm. I was gonna say something about take your child to work day, but they do <laughs> something else. So I'm gonna shut up. All right, take your right child to the top secret facility. <laughs> uh, and then you hear over the speaker, Mr. and Mrs. Ash Ichikawa, could you come to the tram station, please? Mr. and Mrs. Ichikawa, could you come to the tram station? Couple minutes go by. I want to. I want to pull on that person's like pant leg. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Yes, young person. Leans down. I am an interdimensional demon that fights creatures on other worlds. I, many of your experiments have affected my position in the universe. And all of this will come back on you one day. 
Well, you have a very imaginative imagination. Very wild. Um, okay. Um, all right. And it's about that time that, Michiko, your parents come up and they look mostly concerned. Okay, Mr. Mrs. Ichikawa, you need to fucking listen to me. <laughs> I am not... Michiko! I am not, I am not Michiko. Monaco, do not use that language. That is Michiko. I am David. Something happened. We have swapped my... All of us have swapped minds or swapped I'm bodies. Bug. Uh, the hospital ran brain scans on us, and they turned up abnormal. Considering that you guys work in the, uh, well, actually, you know, Dad, I know you work in the uh, neuro labs. Could you could you do like brain scans on us? Michiko, this is not funny to come down here and play your little games. And we're not playing we're games. Busy. Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh, Why are I know, you being so excitable? Your anniversary date is uh, April 23rd, and the last time you celebrated it was five years ago when Dad, you bought Mom petunias, and Mom, you were angry that Dad bought you petunias because you're allergic to them. They kind of take a pause for a moment. Um, they still don't, because that, roll me a, um, but you have to roll. David's heart and charm. <laughs> oh God, Harry, what's your what's David's heart? Oh and charm? boy, let's check on oh, that because I God. use it so little, I don't know it offhand. <laughs> I think it'll be like a two. Ah, no, your move is a two. It's gotta be better than that. I think. Let me check. Let me. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you're gonna. Can I try to use Michiko's natural charisma if Tails from the Loop the Astral? Shit. Shit. No, because we're trying to get them to believe. Like, I. Only Michiko would know that information because she was there for that. And. Be ready to spend some luck. Yeah. What's I don't think it's score? Uh, okay, so my thing in once Astral loads, I'll be able to. Yeah, why, why did you close it? I, because I instinctively close windows when I I'm you, dumb. You, you, so you, okay, oh. you have one heart. Holy shit, Harry! You and have... I don't believe I have any charm, but if it like, all right, it, um, charm. Yeah, no charm. So one dice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. So yeah. Uh, um, hi, chat. Actually, oh, I think I got a vote from last week. So. Yeah, I don't think you actually used your your uh, one from Hot Dog earlier. Yeah. Hi. Can I use that vote from Hot Dog? Yes, you can. You can. You can roll two dice. Okay. There we go. Yes, a success. A success. Yes, four. <sighs> um, you might want to spend a luck because one success probably isn't going. Okay. To yeah, them. I will also spend a luck. Okay. No, no I, I, I still get that. Um, hold on. Let's... on. No more. Six. No. So they're like... You know what, children? Um, we will take you down to a facility where you'll sit and you'll think about what you do, what sort of punishments you incur when you bother adults when they're working oh at work. <clears throat> Babachan's name is Manoa. I need you to stop saying those things. Michiko, I'm very disappointed in you for bringing you and your friends down. Oh my god. What? I am not Michiko. Actually, Ask me I... anything. I don't know it. I can tell you everything about David, though. I I broke in. So it's not Michiko's fault. But, you know, whatever. <sighs> Michiko, I didn't realize that you hung out with liars. We will talk about this when we get home you eventually. don't even anyway, spend time at home if your grandmother what? found out what you were doing you know what silence no more <clears throat> they leave and then like some like the military police come up to and was like my a doctor is just like, ceremony so uh children you say that something happened to you you say if you'll just follow me with these nice men here we'll take you to a room where we can figure this out Let's go with them. The moment we get clear of all these people, we'll deck them. There's like 
four MPs and a scientist. So okay. like I said, <laughs> hold on, hold on. science, scientist. Uh, you, you, you're you're a person of a high mind. Perhaps I can appeal to to, to your uh, mind's inner machinations. Um, see, there was an you're just walking. The, oh, that's very interesting. That's there was very an abnormality in our brain. Oh, an scan. abnormality. Really? Okay, that's yes. Uh, interesting. Yes. Yes, and I can definitely see why there would be an an, an, an abnormality uh, in children who break into Hold on, military pardon, and pardon. scientific facilities there is a, a there was a machine outside of the uh the navy base is that where we were the, the trolley cart uh and i'll the david i'll describe how that machine looks to this woman uh it gives them pause for a second and you're not sure if you bettered or worsened your situation they're like okay change of plans looking at um, if you could, uh... I got, I got a thing with you in a second. They're like, we're gonna go this way. And they kind of march, and the MPs kind of, like, force you into a single file line, and, like, they, you're just sort of marched down a hallway. Um, not so Bug bad. Randy. Hmm? Not Bug Randy. What, what, what's your thing? Ah, uh, so while... Mishko David... Um, was doing their thing. Um, Bug, who's actually Randy, um, mm -hmm. would like to pull. Uh, it's what's it's a it's a it's referred to as a callback. A callback, um, okay. I would like to hide in some sort of fake plant or shrubbery they have to liven up the um, facility. Okay. As they're lining us up, I basically want to hide while they get escorted away so that I am not imprisoned with them and I can come to the rescue later. Okay, give me a body and, um... That is six sneak. dice. Bug is just small enough to go unnoticed. Hot damn, two successes. Two successes. Which is just enough because they stupidly ordered you in order of height for some reason. And they weren't following behind you. And then Bug just sort of stops walking forward and slips into a tree and is gone. <clears throat> and the rest of you are taken to a room um, where they're just like, please sit on the beds, please. And they try to all strap you down or at least like... Jesus. Uh, I want my phone call. You. Give me my phone call. Yeah, that's not um, happening. I'm a fight. Hi, can I have my inhaler, please? <laughs> uh, you okay? So, uh, David Michiko, you're trying to fight. Um, Working with this age group of people, this is exactly what would happen. About a, a <laughs> flurry of requests would come in nonstop. <laughs> yes. Um, you can see the scientist is already like prepping some sort of syringe and is coming straight to you first. Oh my god, uh, David Michiko. Uh, what do you what do you roll? What what are you doing? I'm gonna do body move to disarm, and then I'm gonna. What? Can you not be so violent? No. <laughs> what? Why is violent always your answer? One success, and then I'm gonna spend a luck to roll re-roll the fails to bring that just to one success. Ah, I'm being right. shaken. Don't so, shake the boy. The Help. the military police actually do that to you, and then like force you down onto um on to the uh, bed where they give you a sedative and um, you're at minus one to your dice pool at this point. Um, oh, you... bad, bad. They, the the, um, the scientist leaves, uh, stands at an MP standing outside the uh, doorway and um, you're all left in that room with a sort of drug addled Michiko David. Uh, Bug Randy. Yes. You were able to sort of follow where they go. And now there's a uh, a guard standing out. Bandy, Jesus. Um, there's a uh, guard standing outside the doorway. Okay. Mm hmm. Alright, so. Standing outside. He's 
got that. I have this. Okay. Um. If I were bug right now, I'd have the perfect thing, but I can't show it because then it'll ruin it if I ever actually get to use it. <laughs> no, it's not sticking. Okay. So I clip my dragon to the hair clip. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and I hold it around the corner. Mm-hmm. So the MP sees it kind of hovering in air without my hand, right? Okay. Rawr. Rawr. What the hell? Rawr. Comes walking over. <laughs> um, as he comes walking over, uh, I want to. <laughs> Uh, snatch, um, <laughs> can I snatch the key card, like, off his belt and open the door really quickly? Just, oh, like, wow. scurrying, like, kind of, like, <clears throat> that'll give me another move and a sneak. Two successes. Another two successes. Actually, um, as a matter of fact, Bug has like a billion luck, right? I think so. You do have six luck. All that luck. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> one more success. Three successes. Three successes. I don't I like it. So you um your little your little lithe hands and like you just yank that key card off of his belt and like it, it snaps the uh like little bendy extendy cord that it's on um and you go running by and you slam it up against the doorway and it, and everybody hears a beep as it unlocks and you hear a chink as as and the door kind of pops open and that that guard's just like hey kid get back here and then i throw the door open and get him wandy <laughs> yeah so as like before this happened what what kind of uh what kind of items do we have that Randy might find useful in this room? I mean, there's a big oxygen tank. There's some bedpans. Beautiful. That's all I needed trays. to hear. That's all I needed to hear. Okay. Um, I'm not sure the physics of how an oxygen tank actually works, but um, let's just say that he was preparing to use it for destruction, and then the door pops open. Okay. And there's a lighter that I get a bonus on. Yes. And an oxygen tank. Yes. And then I'm going to need someone that understands the I physics can... of how that would work better to explain so wait, what I'm doing. Are you going to open an oxygen, oxygen tank and ignite the gas coming out of it, or are you going to like try to hold a lighter under it? I wanted to like create a flamethrower, but I don't know if that will just cause an explosion. It is... It... It's an 80s kids movie. It's whatever yeah, the hell we want. Yeah, you could make a flamethrower. <laughs> In real life, you would almost certainly die. Oh, 100%. Vorpal Vor 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 Tales is not condone the use of open flames near oxygen tanks. Open that flame near that oxygen tank. <laughs> <laughs> so... Like Randy, like, hefts this thing over his shoulder, goes and drops it in the middle. Um... I'm going to need you to give me a body and a force... Uh, Tim Randy. That's eight. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Why am I being groomed? Uh, I'm gonna spend a point of luck. I got one success so far. Okay. That's two. Oh, three more. Four success total. Four success. You go and. Clank this thing down in the middle of the hallway as this guard's coming walking towards you. You crank that valve, click that lighter, plus you your lighter actually gives you pluses, so this is like a full success. Um, you, um... Jesus Christ. You, um... 
turn the entire hallway into just a firestorm of flame that just goes flinging down the hallway and that guard's just like jeez and just goes running back the other way um yeah uh you're able to crank the the valve closed and like that guy is just fucking gone like you, you don't know where he went and you have a few moments you think to go somewhere where you think you might need to go. you have no idea where to go i have a key you have a key. Yes, you do have a key card to a guard. Um, uh, <coughs> Bugathy. Bugathy. There is a um, there's a computer in the room. I can't get over Bugathy. Quick, quick. Tech program. I I am. Um, I, I, I shall do that. I shall roll these things. A map to maybe the neuro ward, so then we can... <clears throat> Depending on how high you succeed, I think I can tell you where you need to go. But yeah, roll them dice. Six dice, right, JT? Uh, for which... What are we doing? We're doing mind, which is four, and mm. what? It's a uh, tech and program. Uh, um... Oh, uh, eight. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Eight. Eight. Yep. Eight. Holy shit. One success. One success. Um, the only thing that you can think of to search for is Force's name. And you actually do find a a um it gives you a room number uh, but you have no idea where that room is um yeah and you have a drunk michiko i am just sedated just like hey, hey look it's the people hello people <laughs> that's what he kids do uh, I'll drag David and let's head to the room. <clears throat> you have no idea where that room is, so you just dart out and wait. You, could you know the what's that? Could I manage to hook Gertie up to the technology and Gertie finds the information? Gertie Jr., I mean. Roll a tech and tinker on that one. It's going to be um, six. Six. Okay. Just one success. One success? That's good in um, Again, Gertie has the room number, but doesn't have a map of the facility. Um, so you kids go running out, um, you turn on the, you turn on the flamethrower again to sort of block your escape and you just go running down the hallway and then you're deep in the loop at this point. You have no idea where you're at. What do you want to do? Uh, can I roll a mind and comprehend to see if I can maybe get a natural sense of direction? <laughs> I sure, that'll do any of that. So it's uh, it's David's uh, uh um, mind and comprehend. And if that doesn't work, Eight, I have an idea. Six. Okay. Spend a luck. Yeah, you have more luck than I do. Yeah, don't worry, guys. More. I got, I got this. Don't worry. That is uh, one. Uh, one success. One success. Um, you're you're in the loop. Cool. Um. Dope. There is too much going on right now. I am having such a major panic attack. And also, why did you have to do that? I, do you know the shit that I'm going to get from my parents? Uh, you, you can explain it later. No! Yeah, I'll we'll believe you. It's cursed shit. Uh, Brandy, what, what's what's your... um? While they are doing that, I'm just going to walk over to the You Are Here kiosk station and look at the map of the facility. That, that'll do it. So, it's uh, strangely in Swedish. 
You can read. Which you're, you're still able to read. We're still able um, to read. And you look at it, and it's actually like a pretty fancy, like pretty advanced kiosk where you can like click, 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 click. And you actually do find you have a map to uh, neurosurgery or neurological studies or something like that. Um, yeah. Which you can then hook up to Gertie, and Gertie guides you where you need to go. And then you're out, and you're kind of looking outside the room, and there's two MPs standing outside that room. Okay, if the original cookie company is here. Which, by the way, this starts to like get very Portal 2 ish, where like there's just very tall hallways where you can't even see the ceiling, and then like there's just these things on strange, like. Um, you're just in this big, like, facility where there's just... Every once in a while you see an MP walking around the hallway, but this one, there's actually two MPs leading up a ladder that goes into this big room that's just this big, gigantic room on, like, pistons. Or what were those? Yeah, basically pistons and or something like that. We, we gotta be careful. My dad works for us. Hydraulics. He sees us again. We're gonna be in deep This is okay. We can't be in deeper shit than we already are. What if we use you as a distraction? You seem inib inebriated with you. Yeah, that's both of those. Correct, the mundo. So, okay. <laughs> hey, why do I? My body if feels I tingly kiss and... you, will is that incest? Because mm. <laughs> I'm you and you're me. Oh, I be kissing me or giving you? How would that work? <laughs> David, pa David so Michiko well. passes out on the ground. <laughs> okay, great. This is perfect. And I'm just gonna haul the body and just like shove it in the in the like in the hallway for the guards to to find to, to notice. They kind of look and they're like, "What the hell." They start walking over. And now we sneak past them. With the, the past go, down, go, bitch. go, go. <clears throat> You're able to like leap over to the other side of the hallway, um, hide behind a couple of pistons, and then you come up behind them and you get to that ladder, but you've left David Michiko to devices. Um <laughs> well, I'm gonna cause so many problems. <clears throat> yeah, uh, no you walk idea. up that ladder. And it goes into like a door where you're able to put the key card against and uh, it hisses open. There's like some cold mist um, and you walk in and at the far end of this very large room is like a hospital bed. Um, and then off to one side is a robot of some sorts that, you know, basic industrial robot looking thing. It actually has like eyes that kind of look around and see, but it, and you see, legs have been pulled off it and are just to one side and then it kind of you see its eyes kind of open and light up and it kind of looks over at you and it just starts rocking back and forth inside of um its cage that it's locked away in you need help Bugathy wants to check it out Bugathy think... goes over and walks over um what do you do i am i i would like to evaluate slash investigate this this thing okay Um, I somehow this. <laughs> that is mind and investigate. So whatever that is. Yep, five. Five. Okay. One success. One success. This one's not too hard because the evidence is pretty clear. Forrest is in that hospital bed, and there's this robot next to it. Michiko, uh, uh, Mitch David, Mitch David's Mitch David. gonna go over I'm to I'm Dichiko or Maven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maven, you're Dichiko. There yeah, we go. <laughs> Dichiko's gonna go up to the robot and just be like, is that you in there, Forrest? And it just rocks back and forth and it like, you can actually see like it gets like little squinty eyes at you, like it's angry at you. Oh yeah, it is Forrest. You can go fuck yourself. You know what I'm gonna have to deal with when I get back home? I'm gonna have to deal with my parents being shitty to me and just like, 
I swear, if you didn't steal David's fucking bike, none of this would have fucking happened. And your body's right there. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? And just Michiko's going to go up to the body and break the wrist. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. That's so Whoa, fucked up. Michiko's hardcore. <laughs> yeah, you just crack and he's just like. And he sh like the eyes get really wide in like the the robot because it's it only has like its little stubby legs at this point because its real yeah. legs have been taken off and it, and it's just like and it just sits there and it's, and you can see its eyes just darting back and forth like it like it's scared. Yeah, just like you, I can do more now. Now, if you don't want anything else to happen to your body, promise that you won't ever fuck with us again. And you see the eyes like bounce he up and down. Psycho shit. I know, right? <laughs> She's got all this like American confidence. <laughs> American she, teenage confidence. When when her parents get involved, like she hates that her parents are so absent in her life. So just having to see them and see what they're neglecting her for, that she she is not having any of it. <clears throat> and off to the other side is the actual bike that's encased in uh in a glass cage. <gasps> hey, hey, uh, Randy. To Randy. To Randy Ra is a. To <laughs> Randy. And JT. Remedy. Randy. Remedy. Randy. 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 Just call. Just call me cool. Cool. Do you want to break Damn. that? <clears throat> You got an oxygen tank. You want to just... I think the oxygen tank was left in the hallway. Though. Yeah, oh, the okay. oxygen tank was I, left okay. behind. I, I, I didn't know if you were there is a that. There is a nice steel chair here, though. Oh, I think we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. What Let's if, hear it. What if... David? I'm in... I'm somewhere else. David. Yeah. Not there. I'm, and by the way, I've woken up and I've gone and wandered off to cause problems. No, you so, actually got taken away by a couple MPs. So we'll so, that fuck. in a minute. Combination of um, Randy and Bug, I look right at, you know, who is actually Mishko. I go, David, we, you just got that bike, right? Yeah. What if... You slash current Mishko's dad is in the bike. No, it was touching the bike that did all of this. So let's see if we can touch it again. And right. Have it. But wasn't Mish wasn't David Mishko's dad really a a alive? And his ghost has been like teleporting us places. <clears throat> I don't know what David saw in there, but let's just. Smash that thing open. Get Don't our the, bodies. Don't hurt the bike. I, I think it's, I think it's important. Well, we, well, we're gonna have to get to the bike through the glass. Be careful. Tim, Tim Randy, T Tim, Timothy, Timothy. You throw cool. that steel chair into the glass, and it, it's actually like a very solid bulletproof glass. And you look and you see like there actually is a keypad next to it. You just like swipe the card, and it goes beep. And like the glass slides open and the bike's there. But you have a problem. You're missing one of the kids. He's in the bike. Oh, he's left. in the bike. No, you're in the oh, hallway. You're, you're in the hallway with the MPs. You got taken away. Oh, I thought you were talking about one of the bullies. Mate. I was like, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm an idiot. Okay. Is there yeah. a is there a phone in here? I have an idea. Yeah, there actually is. I have a is. very a David phone. idea. And just Miko's gonna pick up the phone, put it on the speaker. Hey, fuck faces. <laughs> if you don't want your latest weird ass device to get fucked with, and I mean fucked with, we got a steel chair in here, and I'm ready to destroy some shit because I'm angry at my parents. You better I'm... give us back Michiko Ishikawa, or else we will fucking destroy your new mind control robot and the body with it. Bro, holding them <laughs> hostage. Those two Jesus. MPs come running back with um, David Davidico. 
Yeah, David the Cop. And, um, but there's uh, a bunch of them, and they're all looking at you, and they're just like, all right, kids, everybody just calm down. We're just going to go back to that room. We're going to give you some nice medicine that'll chill you out, and everything we, will be fine. We don't want no medicine. Touch the bike. Bike. Who's the, yeah, someone touch the bike. I, I touched the bike. You uh. touched the bike. Yes. You all wake up in the hospital again. There it is. Uh, you wake up. You're all in the hospital. Again, your parents, Michiko's parents are actually there, and they're angry as fuck. Um, but they're concerned. Flip them off. They're disappointed in you. Um, are we in the but same? Your grandma, are we in the same wrong bodies? You are in the correct bodies. Um... <sighs> Oh my god. Forrest is also the sixth member in your in your room and he's just like oh, <laughs> he's, got fuck. Fucking wrist he's got a fucking wristband. He's got a wristband, he like his wrist was broken. He, and he's just like looking over at Michiko like she is just or looking over at David, David actually. Yeah. And just like don't and he's just like I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like I have I no can't. idea what's going on. I'm just I like, will never steal your bike again. I won't fuck with you anymore. I will promise I will leave all you kids alone. Um, <clears throat> but you over here um, in the other room, uh, and the nurse is just talking outside about four military police who swear that they've switched bodies and they think that some sort of psychotic thing has gone on with them. They've been exposed to something. <clears throat> you know what I bet it is? I bet it's a satanic panic. <laughs> And your souls got swapped when you were doing something you weren't supposed to. You should look out for them. Where did Dark Words finally come from beyond the deep? Oh, the Dark Words. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu to bargain. To bargain. To bargain. I know the Dark Words are coming from my ass when I get out of the bargain. Wait a minute. And to bargain. I think that's where I'll leave it. Till next awesome time with Cthulhu toboggan. Um, <laughs> wow, that okay. is your doodle that... for Cartoon Ninja, Sean. It's Cthulhu toboggan. I have to remember that one. That is um. Okay. Um. So so we got body swapped because of the bike. Mm -hmm. So David's dad's in the bike, right? Or maybe the bike's just weird. You're, yeah, that's what I figured. Because yeah. wait, my dad. Because my dad isn't the big belly with a mouth. It isn't the. Yeah, no. That's true. I totally forgot about the Cthulhu monster at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. That Dagon. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. All right. All right. So, as always, you can find us on the social meds at Forkle Tales. Check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Tales. We have two other awesome adventures you can check out. Next week, our beloved recluse, Maroon Recluse. Um, he's a recluse to us. Um, he continues something awesome, The Spice Must Flow, Dune. Uh, on Fridays, Patty Shake usually guides our rowdy group of adventures through mystery and monsters uh, with Onyx Path Publishing's Scarredlands. But this week, there's something special again, I believe. Another jump start. Uh, yes, uh, this Friday will be another jump start. It is Geist. Oh, cool. Yes. Very cool. So check us out on the Onyx Path channel at 8 p.m. starting on Friday. Dope. I dig it. Um, we also have three other terrifying tales every day, uh, every week on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Check out the Onyx Path Publishing Kickstarters on Tuesday nights. Uh, check out our new Onyx Path Kickstarter. I think the next one is going to be Kung Fu Anime Action with Exalted. I don't know if we know yet. I think we're doing a jump start. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Okay. Um, See our calendar that pops up in our show reels and on our website at purpletales.com and on our Twitch channel. Also, check out the full list on our website. Friend of the show at Funky Thunder does his weekly review in no particular order of this week's latest comic releases. Be sure to check out the shop links on the website. Purple Tales has created several great supplements to enhance your games. There's more in the works for all the systems that we play to make your tabletop experience more purpley. 
I have been at Space Lord PJs. Check out my Doodle website at cartoon.ninja where there will eventually be a Cthulhu toboggan. Um, real quick, everyone, plug your pluggables. Let the viewers know what show they can catch you in next and any other cool online things that you do. Steve. Hello, everybody. I am Steve. You can find me on the internet at Voodoo Arcade. Tonight I played... Brandy? I think we're going with Brandy. Um... So, yeah, you can find me next on Friday playing the Jumpstart for Geist run by friend of the show and not friend of the show, just part of the show, part of the group, key member, yeah. made of kimchi. I don't know. Awesome. You should know. <laughs> God damn it. No shit. Uh, JT. Folks, I'm JT. You can find me online as at Sensomancer. Uh, tonight I played... Timothy and Randy, and there's a clever word there I'm not going to come up with. Um, check me out, johnthomas.tech and uh, rivaltheories.com. You can find me next, presumably tomorrow night, but I'm getting my second COVID shot tomorrow, so we're going to see how fucked I am. Uh, uh, you yeah, might just be really time. tired. So, yeah. yeah. My mom my mom was out of commission for like a day and a half. Yeah, it was too. It was pretty, so, it's pretty we'll rough. Uh, ever. Yes. Hi. I have been Bogathy, as Sean so cleverly put it. I like it. Bogathy. So, um, you can find me all over the internet as Changeling Ever, and you can find me tomorrow playing in two games, actually. I will be playing... I'm trying to read the time from here. It's no bueno. But I will be playing in Pugmire, a continuation of the virtual horror con story where we had the utterly terrifying Gaga Mama baby yeah, keyed that, thing. That was gross. I will be reprising my role as Parsley. So that'll be fun. And then Friday, you can find me in Changeling the Lost for that one. I'm so sad. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. But on Fort um, Tales, the Thursday and Friday game. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Harry, where can we find you? Hi, yes, you can find me uh, next with Jane on twitch.tv slash the Onyx Path uh, tomorrow, 9.30 uh, to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Then, after that, I tell you, oh, fuck me. Um, on Saturdays with, uh, what's the game you're playing on? Oh, with uh, Technocracy. Technocracy Reloaded. Uh, where I play big dumb shoot guy, and she plays smart medic. Um, and nice. then on Sundays with uh, white walls for me, uh, where things are getting crazier. Yeah, sounds like it. Uh, and finally, Jane. Who? Oh yeah, let's yeah. see Saratoga by night. Hello. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and Tumblr under the name the Confused Pro, all one word, all lowercase. I have commissions open, so if you wanna. Commission me to make your character for any tabletop RPG. I get the information there. Other than that, uh, yeah, Harry basically listed. I'm all in all the same shows as he is. Uh, and yeah, Michiko definitely not mental health. Yeah, no. <laughs> send send the girl some help because parent <laughs> issues a lot. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, Wow, yeah, that went places tonight. And uh, finally, it's that time again, everyone. Vote for who is your favorite player tonight. Also, until the end of the show reel, viewers can vote for their favorite cast. Uh, votes earn a bonus luck in our next session, which will be our final session. So, um, in reverse order, Jane, who do you vote for? I vote for Randy Bug Randy Randy Bug Randy Brand Rug. <laughs> I vote for Rug, I guess, because I, I think he did a really good uh, job impersonating Bug. And nice. Bugs Thank you. Uh, Harry, who do you uh, vote yeah, for? Yeah, I'm going to also vote for Rug. Because nice. for the same exact reason, like, you did a great job. Good work. Very cool. Uh, Ever, who do you vote for? <laughs> Bug, Rug, Rug. Bug, Rug? All right. <laughs> <laughs> JT, who do you vote for? Rug, of course. Oh, God, damn it. <laughs> and Steve, who do you vote for? I want to vote for everybody, because everybody did awesome. 
Um, I feel like you should vote for yourself and get like the get all five. It's funny because yeah. I didn't think I was doing anything special. I thought I was I was literally just impersonating this amazing character that ever made. So it's it was really easy. Yeah, but it was <laughs> funny doing it seeing it. Um, <laughs> Steve bug. I am going to stub. vote for. Um, I'm just gonna go with Jane. Because I'm not Thank sure you. if that's David Mishko or Mishko <laughs> David. Um, Michavid. Michavid, okay. Michavid. Um, uh, Thank you, you did for an the amazing vote, job comrade. doing both the initial like panicky part, but then your you know inner Mishko kind of kicking in with uh, David's body once your parents got involved. So it was good, good character moment there. Thank Very you. Nice. Also, I got the bully offer back for the rest of the yes, show. That is true. Did. There are no more bullies. Very nice. Um, <laughs> violence solves everything, kids. Um, violence awesome. solves the bullies. <laughs> awesome being excellent to each other, players. Well, Circus X, you don't have to go home, but you can't keep playing this game tonight. Watch our Vocal Tales crew next Wednesday night at 9 p.m. where we conclude our mysterious Tales from the Loop adventure. Um, and check out all our other shows mostly every night at 9 p.m. Same Vorpal Time, same Vorpal Tales stream channel. Remember to hit that nice and that like and subscribe. And for the love of the dice, game on.